Welcome back, everybody. It's Friday, and look, I have something I need to get off my chest. And I would love, I want to be honest with you. I want to be, you know, I don't, I don't want to lie. I don't want to, I don't want this relationship to start off on, on a bad foot. It's something about me that I think you all need to know. It's very important, and, and it, it involves me in, in my life. It's a sort of a big part of my life, unfortunately, right now. It's, um... It, it, it's it's just a, it's a thing that I deal with almost on a daily basis and I just want to talk to you guys really quick um, about this before we get into this video uh, the thing is is that I need a haircut all right I get it I need one I need a I need a haircut so I was reading the comments to one of the previous Friday videos and somebody uh, mentioned something and um, I guess I'm gonna google it now. Because I'm, if, okay, oh, I am going to be ashamed of humanity. I'm going to have no faith in the human race from this point forward if what I think pops up is going to pop up. We're going to look up pregnant minion game. No, 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 no. Why, why? Why are there so many is the better question. I just, uh, I, 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 I'm just... I, I don't, I, I just, it's it's so much, and I don't get why. I was looking on Facebook a, a few days ago, and, and somebody posted this picture of, of, of a woman giving birth. Like, the whole, the whole situation, the whole deal. And they were like, this is the most natural thing on the face of the planet. You gotta look at it. You gotta look right at it. You gotta, you gotta see it. You, you should know all about it. It's the most natural thing on the planet. Really? Because it doesn't look like the most natural thing on the planet. It it doesn't look it doesn't even there's no it doesn't there's nothing natural looking about it at all. Really. It looks like the aftermath to a party trick that nobody asked you to do. Like, oh man, how many of these kids do you think I could cram up inside me? Six? If I get six, you owe me a beer. <laughs> and like the babies always come out head first. N not that I uh, have seen it too many times or whatever, but uh, it, it, they always come out head first and I kind of want one day just for a baby to come out holding a carrot claiming that he took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. No, is that is that too much? Is that way too much? Oh yeah. There we go. Some smooth jazz while I plunge this baby out of the minion. Let's do it. So uh, uh, I didn't get to look at those hints at all. All right. Well, look. Uh, I know that there is instructions on getting this baby out of you, but we're flying by the seat of our pants now. I'm just gonna do what I think is right, and hopefully at the end of this ordeal, you'll have a healthy, I mean relatively healthy, because look at you, you're gross, you'll have a baby. There will be a baby dead or alive by the end of this game, because if there's one thing I've learned about giving cartoon characters needles, is that you can give them needles. I had no idea up until this point. Yeah, there we go. Take your baby pill. There you go. Look at the shape of that Kleenex. What was that used for? And I don't give a shit. I'm wiping it on your forehead anyway. Put this right there. Oh, and that just goes right in your tit. That's cool. I don't think that's supposed to go right. I don't think you're supposed to have an IV mainlined right into your tit, but all right. Hey, temperature. Yeah, uh, treat the fever. We got to 40 degrees does not seem like enough. Uh, I think your your body temperature is supposed to be like 98 degrees, right? Yay! Yay! All right, there's a goddamn baby in there, and I'm gonna get it out of you. So help me God! All right, first first we'll take the uh, the temperature. Whoop! No, that's not even an option. Some would say that's a more accurate option, though. What is this machine? What does that mean? 136 what? Better not be babies in there. Why? What is this? And why am I shaking it? What? What does this machine do? And why does it need to be shook? Okay. Well, yeah. There's a baby in there. That's obvious. I, I didn't need a machine to tell me that. What does this machine do? And why am I? What is the? No. 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 I'm. I'm. I'm calling baloney on this one. I don't. I don't think that's how birth works. I, I, I don't think that's how it works at all. You don't just wag a machine in front of a pregnant woman's stomach and have the baby, like, uh, David Blaine its way out of her. 
This is a birth, not a magic trick. <sighs> now I guess I'm bathing the minion because you know how it's covered in pregnancy guts and afterbirth. Um, let me just fill the tub up. Why am I shampooing the minion? Here, get it in your eyes! I have had so many opportunities to kill this baby in the tub, and I haven't yet. Because I'm so gosh darn good at childcare. You know, I, I put a tuxedo on this baby because even a disgusting, deformed baby deserves to look fancy. This foot right here is facing the wrong direction. The, completely the wrong direction. I'm not a doctor, but I'm fairly certain that babies are supposed to have more than three fingers. And I, I'm not even gonna talk about its advanced jaundice yellow skin. This baby has a liver condition and is not gonna make it through the night. Why am I bartending? Why is this minion bartending? Okay, what am I, what is that? Relish, ketchup, orange juice, and peach puree. That's, that's, that's gross, that's boring. Look, why don't you, what is that, Kahlua back there? Put some Kahlua in there. We got a, got a nice, what is that, vino? Great, great, uh, and now, of course, what is that? Is that bong water? Put that in there. Oh, wonderful. And to top it all off, uh, you want you want to get some ketchup in there. Yeah. Perfect. It's called, uh, how can I do it wrong? Clearly this guy's never had a, a, a Houston saxophone train because uh, that is exactly how it's made and it will get you fucked up. He looks so unimpressed. Perfect and very tasty cocktail. Why? Why? This is disgusting. This is so disgusting. What am I, why am I rubbing ice on a foot? Needle! Needle in the foot! Oh God, just cut the whole foot off. Ah! You're bleeding. Why are you bleeding? Oh my God. Ah! We're done. That's fucking, this is terrifying. I just pulled this minion's teeth out. Ah! Ah! Why am I drawing with sloths? This is what happens when I draw with sloths. All right, everybody. Uh, so to start off our drawing, we're gonna pick a uh, a medium sized brush here, and we're just gonna start off by just drawing in the ground, just drawing it in, nice and gentle. Um, don't don't make it too smooth or too flat. You know, no no ground is perfect like that. You wanna. You always want to have a little bit of hills there for variety. It's it's the spice of life, as they say, you know. Now, what I'm doing here is uh, I'm just just putting sloths in um, for texture. We're just going to give the ground a little bit of texture here. Um, now, next thing we're going to do is we are going to up our brush size. Uh, oh, just a little more there. There we go. And we're going to we're just going to draw in some nice, nice mountains. Just want a nice little mountainscape there in the distance. So I want to make it look like those mountains are just jutting up out of, out of the horizon. Just nice like that. There we go. And, and now that you got your mountains in, we're going to break up this really boring plain sky by just putting in some clouds. Some nice fluffy clouds. Remember, no two clouds are exactly alike. So you want to you just want to get in there and, and just make them nice. Just nice and just little, little, little puffy puffs in, in the sky. Little, little puffity puffs. Floating there, hanging out above your above your mountains, just just saying, "Hey, what's up? I'm a I'm, I'm a cloud made out of sloths, and there's nothing much you can do about it." There we go. Maybe this mountain's got a got a, a little fog bank at the top. And now to finish off what we've got going on here, we're just gonna we're just gonna put in a, a, a nice little tree right here in the foreground. That's far too much sloth. We should have chosen a smaller sloth brush. That's fine. We'll we'll make it work. So we're just gonna make a little tree here. Uh, remember, no tree is, is perfectly circled. Uh, I'd fight every urge you get to, to make a perfectly circled tree. Um, you know what? You could even add in some rogue branches. Maybe this tree is poorly groomed, so it's got a, a couple branches that are bare sticking out there. Maybe there's a couple apples growing on this guy, so you just want to, you just want to dot in your, your apples that are growing on the tree. And you know what? When you think it looks good, you can call your drawing complete. Um, and, and, and like I've done here, you can save it and then put it on your Facebook and have your friends and family like it out of pity. So one of the games you guys requested I play this week is called Can Your Pet? And um, well, here, here we are, aren't we? I'm gonna name my pet Scrotes McKenzie. 
Uh, oh, there he is! There's little Scrotes! Little Scrotes McKenzie! Let's dress him up here. Um, let me give him a hat. Um, oh, that's creepy. I don't like that. What was that? Anime eyes. Why are anime eyes always so glisteny? How come people in anime, they're just, they, they're always on the verge of tearing up, I find. Everybody's got these nice moist eyes. Ah, uh, you know what, that's perfect actually. These ones are perfect because, uh, I think they reflect my exact thoughts on this game. Uh, oh, we're gonna feed them. We'll just, we'll feed them up some, uh, there you go, have some seeds. Enjoy some seeds. Got, got a growing boy here. There you go, he is, he is unimpressed completely with this. Yeah! Try and run! Yeah, you're just getting more wet! You're not gonna kick it around or anything, you just headbutt it? Better be having fun with this! You better be having fun, little ch- Balls to the face! Okay, alright. Uh, here, ride your bike. Okay, hold on, let's do this. Ride your bike! Wait! Wait! No! No! <laughs> no, Scrooge McKenzie, no! What was that? Scrotes McKenzie, no! Oh my god, it's called Can Your Pet, not Can Your Pet. Oh! <gasps> Rip in peace, Scrotes McKenzie. Rip in peace. <gasps> Gone but not forgotten. You were taken at the prime of your life. He was too damn young! Too damn young! I remember it. It was like it was yesterday. He was standing there, eating uh, b bags of seeds, and uh, standing next to stuff, uh, uh, having a hat. I'll never forget you, Scrotes McKenzie! I'll never forget you! Scrotes McKenzie, no! So if you guys have any terrible browser games, or just anything that's awful on the internet you think I should look at for a video, leave it in a comment below or do it on my Facebook or Twitter. Uh, I'll be back every Friday until you guys get sick of it to check out what's awful on the internet. Wow. Alright, well, that's a picture. Okay, that's enough. That's enough internet for me today. That's enough. Ha <laughs> ha